Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, you probably been wondering where we've been. We've been kind of busy. How long has Holidays. It been since we had put a video out. I don't know. Sometime in October, I believe, was the last video. I filmed some stuff. I just haven't done anything with it. So we've been where? Going crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Enjoying this COVID. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, well, just, we we got involved in our holidays, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas with the family and everything. And uh, we just took a rest from YouTube, mm -hmm. you know. It yeah. just If you do it a lot, you know that there are times when you're just like, okay, I got to get away for a while. Uh, doing Shed Wars as enjoyable as it was, was a little bit taxing to come up with something two or three times every month of, you know, a subject. So, mm -hmm. anyhow, so we took a break, and but we're back. And we wanted to, we changed our name, as you probably noticed. Yep. Uh, we just felt that we're not really homesteads. You know, we call ourselves a mini stead because cause we had chickens, but... Uh, They're gone now. Yeah, we gave those to a friend of ours. We didn't hurt them. <laughs> no, no, we they're not in the freezer. They're, well, sort of. I mean, it's been getting down to in the teens every night. But yes, we... No, we had a, a two-week time when we didn't get a single egg. And looking back at it, I'm pretty sure I did. I caused a problem by closing off the vents to keep them warm in the winter. I think that it was just took too much light away in the coop, and so they just quit laying. But whatever the reason, after a couple of weeks and figuring nine chickens were costing a dollar a day, and I wasn't getting anything out, and that's fourteen dollars worth my eggs. So we uh, gave them to a friend of ours who actually does it and sells at the farmer's market. Man. So I hope he's doing real good. We haven't seen him in a while, but yeah. Anyhow, we so we're no more chickens, and we don't do prepping. Know, we, well, we're retired. We have an income. We're not trying to make an income from our property. So we just felt that we're not really homesteaders. So let's be more realistic. You know, we live mm -hmm. on the high plains of eastern New Mexico, and it's a unique environment and uh, something different. And that's what we want to bring is, hey, this is what it's like to live here at 6,500 mm -hmm. feet, you know, yeah. out in a semi-arid climate. It's a challenge to, to uh, garden here, you know, it's a challenge even to can. We have, you know, we have Canning's to a challenge, cooking's a challenge, baking's a challenge for the most part. Boiling water for ain't me. though, because it nope. boils at 199.5 <laughs> here. <laughs> but, um, you know, we're, we're, I'm still, we've been here, what, just over two years now, yeah, yeah. and I'm still learning. I'm, yeah. I'm, but that's kind of more what this channel's about, is what it's like to live here and what challenges we have and showing you how we get, you know, overcome those challenges. And some of our little hobbies and things that we like yeah. to do. Yeah, um, a lot of how to. So basically we're going to go into showing cooking, um, baking, canning, gardening, just what you do when you're retired. Sometimes I might show some some sewing videos. And we might show you some oh. videos of the surrounding area as we yeah. get out and about and take videos. It's beautiful yeah. around here. That's basically... That's it. That's where we've been. And that's who we are and that's why the change. And uh, hopefully we'll get back to putting out videos on a, a semi-regular basis. Mm -hmm. We don't do anything on a regular basis. Yeah. Uh -huh. so anyhow. All right. Is that it? That's it. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks.